pages. All your pages are laid out here. These are the preset pages that came with the coffee and tea store that I selected. But if you don't want any of them, you just you just hit delete. So we have products here. Let's just change that to um, let's do purchase online, and I'll show you how to add a store. And then about us, let's add a page in here. Let's add a gallery. So it just adds the pages for you. Very easy. It automatically updates it there. So within the modules, let's see here. Let's first start out. I really like the breadcrumbs module. Um, breadcrumbs is kind of like it, it leaves a little trail of where you've been on the website so you know how to get back home. Um, so you can drag and drop that. you got a little home icon. We'll just take that off. You can change that font too. Um, you can change everything. Every option in here you can pretty much customize. You can change the little arrow to the little square. So now that I have added that, though, it kind of looks a little blocky. So if you want to change the design at any time, you just drag it around and just put it somewhere else. And let's center that. Okay, so now you have your breadcrumb module, which you just threw in there. Let's go ahead. This is the um, site-wide text that, that Adam was talking about. You can just drag that, drop it there. So let's say we want to view our specials. And you just center that. And making links in here is very easy also. You just hit link. And you can choose the page you want to link it to. If you want to do an external link, um, you can do that too. You would just enter the link in right here in this box. You click OK. And as you can see, the um, font here is blue. And we, that doesn't really match very well. So what we're going to do is go back to Style and Colors and right sidebar. makes it really easy. So we'll copy the heading color and just paste it there. And it instantly changes it for us. Click OK. So now this matches everything else that we've been doing. If you want to make that a little bit bigger, you can do that. So you guys are going to love this. This makes it so easy to sell things on your website. So what you need to do, um, the service that allows you to have your store online is, is the eQuid. So you can register right here from this, from the Web Presence Builder. Um, or And then once you do, you enter your store ID number right here. You type it. That's all you do. You change um, the appearance and how you want it to be viewed in here once you enter your ID number. So um, since I don't have an ID number for this website, what I'm going to do is um, go over to our Small Businesses Do It Better website because um, we have it set up here so you can see it in action. Now we just built this website with Web Presence Builder just, just the other day. It's always been in Web Presence Builder, but we, um, we upgraded a little bit. So um, as you can see, we sell our shirts on this website for Small Businesses Do It Better. Um, our, the shirt page right here is where we have our online store module, but we have our images here linking to the product page. So if you click on women's shirt, it goes right to the women's shirt page. So when you drag and drop this module, it puts a shopping cart in there for you. It has a photo. It has the cost. You can even put a Facebook like. They pick the size, add it to their bag. I mean, everything that you need is here. They have detailed photos. You can view the front and the back. There's care instructions, sizing info. Anything you want to enter in the product description is there. So if you want to see how it looks in the store, we have two products in here, a men's shirt and women's shirt. So if you just click in it, men's shirt, same thing. That's it. So and you can um, change the layout. New additions that they've added to um, Web Presence Builder that we've seen um, in the last update um, is a blog. So let's change delivery to blog in our pages. That's all you need to do. 
So drag and drop your blog in here. So then you click to add a new post. Type in your blog post. Type in your content. You get to pick the date. So if you want to back, a lot of people like to add their Facebook like box to their um, pages. So what you do is you grab the script module, go right here. You're going to go to your Facebook page and get the code and paste it, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Nothing weird to install in the headers or anything like that. Um, so there's a lot more modules in here. You want to go to the contact page, drag and drop a contact form. It's that easy. Um, you can customize the fields down here. So we have name, email, and message, and then you can choose if you want it required, and then what the message is that's going to go to them after it's sent. Um, they also have the um, CAPTCHA code in here, so you won't get a bunch of spam little bots filling this out, which is awesome. You don't have to program anything. It's already there. Okay, so now we have our contact page. We have literally an entire website in just a few minutes. Once you um, you spend a couple minutes in here, you'll know where everything is, and it makes it very easy. Uh, one of the other things I want to show you really quick, there's a bunch more modules in here that you can go through. Those are the main ones so that are most often used. So let's go home here. So as you can see, we have this gorgeous website that we put together in a short amount of time. All you do when you're ready is you hit publish, and it's live on the internet. That's it. So um, in the settings, this is where all the um, behind the scenes magic happens. Um, each page has its own um, meta description that you can enter. You go into the page itself and click each page description individually. Um, you can also set it for the, the whole website. You have your keywords, you have your favicon here. Just browse and upload. You don't have to FTP it in or anything like that. It's just right there. Um, the advanced settings, sometimes um, like for Google Analytics or for website tools, they need to verify that you're the website owner. So you'd go here and it will create a file or you can upload their file. The metadata, if you need to enter any scripts within the headers, you can do so here. Embed your Google Analytics code. Just paste it there. And it will start tracking all your visitors for you a sitemap, your robots.txt file. Some of this stuff you'll never use, but if you do need it, it's here, and it's good that it's so accessible. Okay, now this is really cool. I'm very excited to share this. Okay, now this is really cool. I'm very excited to share this part with you. Um, I'm a little bit of a nerd about this, but um, when you publish your site, it gives you an option to show a copy of your site on Facebook. Now, why is this important? This is a really powerful marketing tool. And I'll show you how Ovali has used it. We have um, our main website. We have a lot of Ovali sites. We have Ovali.com, .tv. We also have Ovali.info. And so we built a website in Ovali.info, and we shared it on our Facebook page. And what it does is it gives you a custom tab on your Facebook page that you can program, which will be your site that you just built in Web Presence Builder. So we have ours as the subscribe or sign up tab. So when people are on your Facebook page, this can make you look amazing, like you really are on top of your game and know how to customize your Facebook. But really, it's just kind of like an easy little secret. So you click on this. Now this is our ovali.info page. So if I'm going to click over to our website. This is ovali.info, live on the Internet that we built in Web Presence Builder. That's all that it is right there. Built it in like a half an hour. So when you go to Facebook and click that tab, it's a mirror of our site. As you can see, here's the site and here's the Facebook page. It does it all for you. Um, so when you're in Web Presence Builder, you enter all your code, enter your images. All the information just transfers over seamlessly. It looks great with images. You can use it. You can just get an extra domain um, through your control panel, add it on really quick. 
build a fast site, web presence builder site, mirror it on the Facebook, and you have a whole marketing campaign on your Facebook page. And you don't even have to do anything. You just publish your site really quick and it mirrors it for you. Very simple. That's one of my favorite features with the last update.